Good morning, friends. It's morning. It's like 8 o'clock, I think. I just took my son to school. Zeke is knocked out. He just had a bottle, so he's asleep and ready to dream. <laughs> um, today's Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. And it is ugly outside. It is ugly outside very very ugly but today's friday today is my son's last day of school for a week a week one week no school one week <laughs> he has no school the rest of the week because it's thanksgiving and I had told my mom yesterday, and my mom's like, we only get two days because she works at a different school. And she's like, we only get two days off, and he has a week. And I was like, yeah, he has a week. So <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to be. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is his last day. He's excited for it. He's ready to be off, of course. And... Hopefully it's not like this the rest of the week. That way he can play outside and, you know, do whatever. But for sure, for sure, I told him that we were going to start reading, especially reading, because that's the, the, the class that he's failing right now is reading. And so I hope I have coffee because I know I had a couple of cups left and I don't know if they drank it or not but for sure we're gonna start reading for sure and um but yeah we don't have nothing to do today I don't think we're going anywhere today um it's too cold to go anywhere my mom was here yesterday but um we had to go to bible study so she was here by herself at the house um we went to Bible study. It was a good Bible study. The, it was on Thursdays. They have men and women. So our study was about how to be a, um, how to be a sister in Christ. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, oh my gosh. Yesterday was just a bad day. Not a bad day. It was a good day, but it was just, I was very tired and, um, I was literally running, I don't know how I was functioning yesterday, like I did not have any energy yesterday, I was very tired, and, um, but today's a better day, even though he woke up a couple of times last night, today's a better day, um, I thought I heard somebody, like, knock on the door. Um, but yeah, that was our lesson yesterday, and for those that asking about the Bible study from the other day, this table is very sticky, and I don't know why, because I, I cleaned it yesterday, last night, I don't know, I think my husband made his lunch on here, anyway, the Bible study was about Christmas, it was about, like, where Christmas originated from, um, this was Tuesday's Bible study. Yeah. And he, he went through like where Santa Claus came from, like, um, where it originated, where like coming down the chimney originated, why his clothes are red. Like he broke everything down. My hair is, I'm so sorry that I look like this and y'all have to see it. I am so sorry. <laughs> but, um, but he broke it all down. He broke down the whole tradition of Christmas and how it's really not based on Christ. <laughs> um, we, the, the Christian Christianity or, you know, the Bible doesn't really mention when the true date that Christ was born. And it doesn't mention when he, the true date of the resurrection, it doesn't mention um, exactly when Christ was put
put on the cross. Like, it doesn't have those dates. So people, I guess, assume that Christmas is his birth because Christ must Christmas. And so he just wanted to break all that down for us. And it was very interesting, like, how Christmas all, like, throughout the generations and throughout tradition, it became Christmas. It became what it is today. But it all originated with just one person, like, just giving gifts to children. And these children were not acting right or not acting good and so he made people scare these kids <laughs> so they could be good so he can give gifts to them and like it just all came from just evil like the elves weren't elves back in the day and that's crazy because um it all came from like you can look it up like it's he showed us a video where where these elves they're not elves. They're called, they're called, I think like Krampus, Krampuses or something like that. I've seen that movie Krampus, but I never like, like, well, what's the point of this movie? But it's real. Like these people would dress up in like goat faces and like scare these kids. And then I, I'm going to ask him for the video and then I'll link that video down below. And these people still do it till this day. Like, they have this parade thing. I don't know. They have this thing where they go around town dressing up as a goat and, like, with claws and stuff and, like, try to, I guess, scare these kids. But I'll try to link that video down, down in the description so I can watch it. But from that, this was, like, way back. Like, I don't know. I think he said, like, in the... 1500s or something like that I don't know it was like way like before whatever but <laughs> it from generation to generation it became Christmas it became Santa it became elves it became all this stuff that we know now and he just wanted us to be informed like what Christmas truly is like where it came from where you know it originated from it was very very interesting um but that's, that was the study. That was the whole, you know, I wrote it all down. I wrote every everything down. And he talked about the tree, the Christmas tree, and how people worshipped it. And it wasn't a Christmas tree. It was like an idol to these people. And they, um, they would put, like, fruit and food and all this stuff in this tree. And they would worship it and idolize this tree because to warn off evil spirits and to warn off bad luck or something like that. And and the whole chimney thing, like, it originated from, um, like, legend, like, old wise tales saying that there's this goddess that would come down the chimney and bring forth good luck, fire of good luck or something like that. And these people would offer it cookies and treats and all kinds of stuff to this goddess and I don't know it was just like what are y'all doing <laughs> like why are y'all offering these spirits stuff <laughs> like I don't know it was it was interesting it was very very interesting where it all and then how all that throughout generations and years and traditions how it all formed into just Santa Claus and elves and all these things and it was interesting I really liked it um but you know there's people at my church that are not gonna put up their Christmas tree and they're not gonna put up lights and stuff like that but you know we we discussed it and we're like we're gonna put up our tree you know and and I know my pastor is not gonna be like you shouldn't do that you shouldn't put up your tree like he's not gonna do that and so I'm going to put up my tree because I'm not going to sit in my living room and worship this tree. Like, that just sounds so ridiculous. Like, that sounds, I'm not going to idolize this tree and, like, that just sounds so chaotic. <laughs> like, this sounds so crazy to me <laughs> that these people went so far to, like, 
worship something that doesn't first doesn't talk to you second doesn't breathe isn't alive like i mean it's alive but not like it's not gonna be like hey priscilla like what are you doing like <laughs> i don't know it's just crazy to me and i'm pretty sure some of you people that watch this are you know may not be christians and y'all are like you know, you worship a God that doesn't talk to you either. Yes, my God talks to me, first of all, through his word, through his spirit. And second, he is alive and moving because of the things that he does. He saves people. He brings people back into what they're supposed to be, to what he made them to be. And he saves. I mean, he saves people. But anyway, that's beyond the point. Um, so I'm going to put up my tree because... I'm not gonna worship this tree. It's just gonna sit right there. It's just a pretty tree. It's, you know, it's it's not gonna be the center of our lives, basically. And second, I'm not, God's not gonna love me any less if I put up a tree, if that makes sense. God's not gonna love me any more if I put up the tree. And I have this peace in my heart that there's more things in my life and there's more um, important, I guess, that I'm focused on besides a tree that I'm going to put up that I'm talking to God with. Like, I'm not praying to God, oh my gosh, this tree, Lord. No, I'm praying to the Lord for my mom, my dad, <laughs> my brother, people in this town that are not saved that I know people my family members that on my dad's side that you know they're they're that alcohol you know has a big part in in their lives marriages are being torn apart in my family and I'm not gonna pray to a tree for that that's that's ridiculous <laughs> like I don't know, but I'm going to put up my tree. I'm going to put up my lights, um, and I'm going to keep praying for my family. I'm like, I prayed to the Lord for my family, for my aunts and my uncles, my dad, my mom's side of the family, my grandma. I pray for them every single day, every single time that they, it just gets put on my heart just to pray for them, for the beer, just to be so gross in their mouth that they don't want to drink it anymore for them to come back to christ like i pray for my family so much like and i don't even think they even know it <laughs> but it's okay because god knows it god knows that i'm praying for them and i'm praying for my dad especially because i mean i want him to be healthy for my kids when they get older and you know i know alcohol has a, has a big part in it and I'm praying for my brother, you know, to come to Christ and my sister to be strong, and my mom to be strong while they while they are following Christ and I don't know, it's just I know the Lord is moving in my family and I know he's working in my family because we're starting to become united. We're starting to become one like you know where we can it's tolerable for us to be around each other because it wasn't like it truly wasn't it wasn't good for us to be around each other and now like me and my sister never had a good relationship me and my sister we basically hated each other we were basically like i don't know who she is she ain't my sister like we hated hated each other <laughs> and now thank you lord like thanks to glory to god because now i'm following christ for it's been three years she's following christ and i'm making tortillas for her <laughs> like like i don't know it's how god can just turn things around and that's because of his love and him being alive and him moving and him saving like without the lord I wouldn't have that relationship because me, I was an angry person. I was a very, very angry, bitter, prideful, 
person, selfish, selfish, selfish person. And for the Lord to just break that and mold me into who he made me to be, boy, you tell me that they ain't no God. <laughs> You will never convince me that there's no God. You will never convince me to stop going to church, to stop praying, to stop reading the word, to stop praising him. You will never, never, never convince me to stop doing that because just that alone, just him transforming me into who I am today, no, <laughs> no. And so I just hope and pray that people that are, are watching this, and they don't believe in Christ or they're kind of wish-washy on Christ, Christ is alive. Christ is real. Christ died on the cross for you. He resurrected to give you authority and power over the enemy and his schemes. He gave you power and authority just by his name alone to say it, to rebuke the enemy from your thoughts, to rebuke the enemy from your life, to break those prison walls that you've been surrounded by. He He's given us authority just by that. And if just one person can just plant that seed in them, and Lord, I pray that you water that seed and you overflow that seed with your presence and your spirit and your mighty power and you wave your mighty hand upon that seed. Oh my goodness. You, <laughs> but that was a long thing. <laughs> but today's Friday. I don't have nothing to do today. I don't think, like always, I don't have nothing to do. But I do have to wash and I do have to, I'm gonna make me some breakfast here in a little bit. And that's it. I'm growing my eyebrows out because, was it this one? One of these I messed up really bad. I think it's this one. So I'm gonna grow them out and probably in the next couple weeks, I'm gonna go with my brother to get, get them threaded and because my brother knows the places to get things done. <laughs> and I'm gonna go do that. And hopefully I can go, if the special's still going on, cause my friend is a hairdresser and she has a special going on where it's a cut, a color, and a style, I think, for 80 bucks. And I wanna go do that. So hopefully in the next couple weeks, she still has that special. <laughs> So, but if not, I think she charges a hundred and something. Yeah, I think. But, um, anyway, that's my life right now. <laughs> so, I think tomorrow, get ready, because I'm going to put my tree up. I'm going to make this little fast motion thing on here to put my tree up. And I think my sister's going to come help me. She's going to come, see, look like that. She would never come to my house. She she never comes to my house. And like for the Lord to have mend that relationship, thank you, Lord. Glory to you. Praise your name. Glorify your name. Thank you, Father, for that. Like because I don't know how I lived without my sister this long. <laughs> but she's going to come help me, I think. She's going to bring my nieces and my nephew over so they can play with my son and I think tomorrow we're going to make dinner, and I, that's the plan, so I don't know, because I know, you know, because I think my brother-in-law works tomorrow, and it's pretty hard to travel with three kids, <laughs> so, and then I'm going to help her, because my niece is nominated to be Miss Merry Christmas, so I'm going to, I think she's going to bring some of her stuff so I can help her um, for that. So, this table is so sticky. I don't know what he put on here. I think he made peanut butter and jelly. I don't know. But anyway, there's that. So, I'll see you guys later. Yeah.
What'd you make on your spelling? We did a half spelling test. What do you mean you didn't have a spelling test? I'm supposed to say we're not supposed to go to. We're not supposed to switch. For to, to, today. My high school today. T O D A Y. High school yesterday. Y E S T O D A Y. High school. High school after tomorrow. What? After tomorrow. A F T R T O M O R W. How's your day? Good. Good? What'd you do today? We just did a switch today. Y'all did it? What'd you learn? Huh? You don't know? What'd you have for lunch? Pizza. Huh? Pizza? Yeah. But you don't know what you learned today? Did you read? Did you bring your book? Your library book? Okay. Your mom. I can get my watch off. Okay. Stop that. So here's the blue thing that I was telling you guys about. We have it on the lowest setting thing. We put him in and he instantly calmed down. <laughs> like he he just like looked at us and he's like, oh wow, like <laughs> My mom's not holding me. <laughs> so are we, we're going to put like a blanket, a thick blanket under there so his feet can touch. I mean, he can touch and he can move and stuff and he keeps his head up really good. But it that thing's really cold and his little, his little feet, I don't want them to get cold. So as you can tell, my son's room's a mess. So we're going to put that. I wanted to show you all that and... Um, we got that left. I don't know what's in that black bag. We have that and I don't know what else we have. I know we have another, I know we have another, what's it called? Um, walker. I don't know where Ricky put it, but there's Ricky. <laughs> there's little Ricky I need to put all his stuff back in the room I had it everywhere today <laughs> oh, my kitchen is a mess right now oh my gosh we just got done eating and I needed soap to wash dishes so Ricky's getting that don't go in the room he's asleep please do not wake him up <laughs> but I have like this leftover bottle his blankets toys I need to clean up cause oh my gosh it's been a day let me tell you but yeah uh, that's it for today I think so I'll see you guys in a little bit hey friends it is way later way later <laughs> um oh my gosh this week with zeke has been so rough like i don't know if he's teething or if his gums are just i don't know but he's constantly like rubbing his hands his blanket everything in his mouth and like he's like he wants to go like he doesn't like to be on his back. He doesn't like to be on his stomach. He wants to be up, sitting up, standing up, like looking. And he like wants to go and like, oh my gosh, it's been, and he's like constantly crying. I don't know if he's crying because his gums are itchy or like he's just, he's not comfortable. He doesn't want to be, you know, whatever. And oh my gosh. And this is the only way I can put him to sleep now. Like this. I have to do I have to be like this to put him to sleep. And oh my gosh, it's been a rough, rough week. <laughs> As you can tell in my vlogs. It's been a really rough week this week. But um uh, we didn't do anything um from where I cut off earlier, 
I've just been putting him in the swing, putting him in his bouncy, putting him in the little that little rocker thing to, for he, for him to go to sleep. I've been putting him in that other bouncy, and then Rick, Ricky put together this big blue bouncy, and we put him in there. Like he's just been like he doesn't want to be anywhere besides like sitting straight up and like looking everywhere. <laughs> It's been rough. <laughs> but um, I made tacos for dinner. And I'm fixing to have to go wash dishes. Ricky went to the store to get eggs. And I needed a Coke. Because <laughs> I haven't had a Coke. <laughs> and that's when I was like, I just need a Coke and a cheesecake right now. And a bubble bath. Because <laughs> it's been one heck of a week. But um, uh, what else did he get? He wants to get a few other stuff, I think, and uh, I'm going to try to put him down in his little rocker and try to wash dishes, and like if he's asleep right now, any little noise, like, like he wakes up, I'm like, oh my goodness, <laughs> he's three months today, today he turns three months, so it's fixing to be where he's rent like crawling everywhere and moving everywhere and he's not a newborn anymore <laughs> so i'm gonna end the vlog here sorry it wasn't long or adventurous or exciting <laughs> just be patient with me it's been one heck of a week so i will see you guys tomorrow Tomorrow I'm putting up my tree and the lights, I think. Um, my sister and them are going to be here, I think. And, yeah. So, we will see you guys tomorrow.